Okay, so in this video, we're going to verify that a curve is a flow line for a vector field. So we're just going to verify it. We're not going to show how you come with the solution of the curve. We're just saying if you're given this curve, gamma, we can, how do we find out, how do we verify that that is in fact a, a flow line for this vector field given down here? So the definition of a flow line is that um, gamma is a flow line if basically if the derivative at each point of gamma is the same as the arrow you, arrow you get from f at that point. So this is what we need to check. So we need to check that this happens. And if it happens, it is a flow line. If it doesn't happen, it's not. So, okay, so let's find who is gamma prime. So, on, on the one hand, we're going to find gamma prime uh, is just, I'm going to find the root of, of this. So, I'm going to do the product rule in each term. It's e to the t times cosine. I find the root of e to the t. Now, I'm going to find the root of cosine. So now it's minus e to the t sine t, right? The derivative of the first times the second, plus the derivative of the second, which is cosine, which is the derivative of cosine of negative sine, times e to the t. And now for the second one, for the second component, it's going to be the same thing. e to the t derivative is e to the t. And now the derivative of sine is positive cosine, so now it's plus e to the t. Um, cosine t. So that's the derivative fairly simple. Now let's try to find uh, f of gamma. So to find f of gamma, what I do is I'm plugging f, I'm evaluating at gamma, which means my x is e to the t cosine t, and the uh, y is e to the t sine t. Right, I'm using this as my x, this as my y. If my input is gamma. So now all I have to do is follow the rules for f, which is right here. So if f you plug in x comma y, the first component is you should subtract the two of them. So it should be e to the t cosine t minus that one. And my second component is uh, you add the x and the y whatever was your entry was. So I'm going to add e to the t cosine t plus e to the t sine t. So there you go. This part is exactly this. And this part is exactly this. It's backwards, but it's the same thing. So since we got that gamma prime equals f of gamma, then it is a flow line. Okay, now notice that what I did here, I did not take derivatives here, okay? The point of part that here, what I did in this part is I just follow the rules that if your input for f is x, all you're doing is writing x here and x there. And if your second entry is y, then you x minus y and x plus y. And doing that with the x, y here, right, if I, if I draw the colors here, this is my x, stays here, but this is my y. Let me change color for that one. So you get the large part, that part is right here. Okay. And here I'm doing x and this is y. Just following the rules for the vector field, you do get exactly the same than if you took a derivative of the gamma right there. So this is a flow line.